off I go. <laughs> I love these glasses. So yeah, it's Tuesday and um, Tuesday the 15th. Uh, I get my lipstick is super, super light today. It looks darker in real life than it does on camera, I'm sure. But anyways, I'm heading to Londonderry, and then I am going to um, probably go to the mall after work. Probably. So, I don't think I'm the only one. I hope not, anyways. So, tomorrow is the royal wedding, and I am really, really looking forward to watching it. I don't know, maybe I believe in fairy tales. I feel really bad for Meghan Markle because her family, you know, turned out, or her step family, I should say, her mother seems like she's really awesome, but her step family, her father and step siblings, um, yeah, I'm not too sure, you know. The step siblings seem to be, you know, the type of people that are willing to just, they're media hungry. They want their day in the spotlight. And they're willing, I think, to, you know, say anything to get there. But that aside, I hope it really hasn't ruined her day too much. And I, for one, am going to get up early tomorrow morning and watch it. Jay and I have another all-day review class for our pre-licensing school that we that he teaches and that I teach. So that's going to be at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to get up at 4.30. I think all the coverage is going to start about 4.30, 5 o'clock. And I think my time, 7 a.m., or something like that is when the ceremony will be, or 8 a.m., I'm not too sure. So he should be able to catch a lot of it live, not live, but yeah, live, um, on TV in the morning, and then I'll head to work, and then I'll just catch little bits and uh, glimmers of it, you know, later in the day, or highlights, or whatever. Yeah, I'm just a royal fanatic, and, you know, I just, I just love the whole idea of it. Call me a sap. But that's uh, that's probably a guilty pleasure that I have. I'm a royal, but of course I still have my Barbie dolls. So, you know, I don't know if you can see that one there. <laughs> so I actually got to watch most of it. It's actually still on. <laughs> and um, it's time for me to pack up and go to work. Oh, I want to see the rest of it. But I am recording. So, what did you think of the wedding, honey? Oh, it was just wonderful. I've never seen such a wonderful wedding. He's so sarcastic this morning. <laughs> you really are. Well, as long as you enjoyed it, that's what's important. I did. It just, it killed me to have to close down to go to work because... Well, you scheduled a weekend <laughs> review, so... I did, and it was like I had to work around your golf schedule, you had to work around the Memorial Day holiday, your outings, your golf, your golf, your golf. So I sacrificed... My golf? The royal wedding. How did you work around my golf? Because I asked you what day, what day would work best for you, and that's what you told me. <laughs> oh, that's June. Yeah. Oh, I fibbed. <laughs> I was confused. That was the month of June when I asked that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, anyways, um, so we're sitting at the lights and I'm talking to the camera and the guy across from us is like looking at us like, oh, what is she doing with a camera on a selfie stick or something? I don't know. Well, like, everybody knows we vlog, 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 vlog. <laughs> yeah, huh? Have you been recognized in the grocery store yet? Oh, they, they, I just can't keep them away from me. I better be careful. I'm really super excited today because we finally, I think, figured out at least the idea of where we're going to go in Canada. And um, I'm like, I don't know. You know, the idea of maybe roughing it a little bit, staying in some cabins, in some, you know, maybe in a campground in our tent, and just being free-flowing in that sense. You know, I'm like really loving it. So I think I'm going to book reservations in Cape Britain in a cottage or a cabin for maybe four days or something to do, use as a jump off place because then we can do the cabin trail and all that. But I know I got to do that now because they're probably going to be booked already for when I go. So yeah, so I think my hair is 
It's going to stay a little longer. I think probably at least through the summer. You know, I mean, I'm going to go get my roots done at the end of the month uh, and then my trim and all that because I do that every six weeks. Anyways, so she usually tries to, you know, trim off some of the dead ends and that probably is keeping. But I'm actually liking this sort of length right now that I have going on. Of course, I can change my mind tomorrow or next week or in an hour. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. At least it's Wednesday right now. When you're watching this, I don't know what day it'll be. So happy whatever day it is when you're watching it. I, you may never even see this because I, I, my vlogging has been really disjointed this week. I haven't really done a whole lot. I've, um, I think I've been more focused on the upcoming trip that Jay and I are planning. Some of you will know if you watched my last vlog or the last couple of vlogs that we're planning a trip to Canada. And I was like convincing Jay that we were going to, you know, try to get some hotel rooms, Airbnbs, and then bring the tent and pitch the tent on, um, on off nights or something like that. I thought it would be a really cool adventure. Well, Jay has been frantically searching accommodations because he's like, he's like not into wanting to try the tent again. And I'm like thinking, we've got this really great tent, why not? So it's like really funny in our house because, you know, he has never ever participated at all much in travel plans. He usually kind of leaves it up to me and his attitude is usually, hey honey, you know, whatever you want to do is, is fine by me. And I'm like, come on. So, um, so he got us an Airbnb the first night in St. John's, New Brunswick. And, um, and then we have a request into, um, an Airbnb on the second two nights or three nights in a town called Inverness, Inverness. And, um, and then we want to do, you know, all up the Cabot Trail and we're still debating on staying on the other side of the Cabot Trail. There's a couple of really nice places, Iganas Beach or I'm pronouncing everything wrong, but we haven't found any place to stay on that end yet. But then we know that the tail end of our trip is going to bring us down to Halifax to Peggy's Cove area where we're going to meet up with a fellow YouTuber. And I'm, I'm actually really excited about meeting him. Uh, we met, his name is Fred, I'm going to link his channel, but we met, not in real life, but in tube life, uh, I think when both of us did SSS Veda a couple of years ago, Savvy Sexy Social, vlog every day in August, vlog every day in April. I think that's how we initially connected. And we've kind of stayed connected. You know, he's not into, you know, my channel that much at all. Um, but we still stayed connected. And uh, and he lives somewhere near where we're going to be. So he, uh, he offered to give us a little tour of Peggy's Cove. And we're going to take him up on that. So I'm like, yeah, that's really cool. So we're going to be staying down there for... I think two days and then we're gonna go into the Yarmouth area and we decided we're gonna ferry home so we're driving over and we're ferrying home which I think will be really cool so uh, as long as I don't get seasick I am worried about getting seasick though I really am so um, yeah that's the um, that's the down and dirty on my Wednesday. I'm heading into Londonderry. Jay's actually in Londonderry. He's teaching. I'm heading into Londonderry. It is the uh, Wednesday before Memorial Day weekend. We're not going away. And um, we're going to just kind of, you know, it's, it's going to be crappy weather anyway. So I think we kind of made the right decision about staying, you know, staying home. So um, we're just going to basically kind of, you know, prepare the motor home and prepare the house a little. The house is a mess. Uh, for when my stepson comes with his girlfriend. So we're really looking forward to seeing Justin and Tamara. I, um, we've, we've met her once before. And um, when we went down to Baltimore for a Red Sox game, they came up, they live in Atlanta, and we went down and we all met in Baltimore. So it was like a really cool adventure. I think I vlogged some of that. So if I did, I'll link it, or maybe I didn't. I can't remember. You know how it is when you meet someone, they may not want to be on camera. So I may not have, but I kind of thought I did. But no matter, I'm heading to work. I've got to get out of here. See you later, guys. So, you know, the really sad thing is we wait so long for our lilacs to bloom. 
And this winter I was really worried because we lost so many of them. You know, everything just kind of collapsed from the bad storms. We had all those nor'easters. It's just a wicked, wicked, wicked winter. And then the lilacs come out and they last like a day. Well, not really. But I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but... Oh. Sad to say, they're almost all gone. Can you believe it? I mean, how quick is that, that the lilacs just go away so wicked quick? <laughs> wicked quick. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just really depressing because we've had this bad, bad winter. And, you know, a lot of the trees, a lot of the shrubs, everything was damaged. And then the lilacs come out for all of five minutes. Where is the, where is the sense of that? Or whatever it is. Alrighty, I gotta stop jabbering. I'm actually testing, oops. I'm actually testing um, my new mic. Yeah, I'm in the car, I know. Let's see. I can't tell, but I'm testing my new mic. <laughs> so I got a new, um, mm, I got it like about a week ago, but I've been using Jay's on and off because he has one. I don't know what you call it. It's a road boomy thing that, you know, it, it sits on top of the camera. And then I put this like cat tail on it thingy so I could, um, see how it works on muffling the sound because when I you know I'm using my Canon not my vlogging camera number one because my vlogging camera doesn't have an adapter for a mic and I really feel that sound is crucial and um, you know granted nothing is really going to cut out the outside noise like the wind noise and all that completely but I'm hoping it does a little bit of a good job because especially when we go to Canada I don't want to have my videos ruined by not being able to hear what I'm saying. I, I know, I just say such wonderfully intelligent things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. <laughs> so I just pulled into, um, um, I just pulled into, oh wow, I feel like I'm all nostrils here. Isn't that weird that I feel that way? Um, so anyways, I'm, um, Whoops. I am meeting a co-worker and um, she's going to hop in the car. I don't know if I can vlog with her in the car or not, but um, we're going to head to uh, the beach. Of course, my favorite place, but we're going to head to Salisbury for the event Verani Cares, which is my Seacoast office. I work for a fairly large company in the state of New Hampshire. We have many, many different branch offices. And so often I work out of the Portsmouth office and Exeter office in Londonderry. Those are the ones I go to the most. And then I go up to Lakes Region and a few other places. But anyways, the Seacoast office um, group, which is Exeter and Portsmouth peeps, they... Um, we do this big charity, Variety Cares, and that's where our company matches money, and we support local charities, local endeavors. And the Seacoast Seco group decided that they were going to support the veterans, and they're putting on this big, amazing comedy night. And um, they've got comedians, they've got all sorts of different entertainment, and the venue is at the Sea Glass, which happens to be one of my favorite uh, restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like right on the beach. It's just really, really a very, a beautiful, a beautiful setting. So I'm like super psyched about that. Anyways, Jane and I are riding together. Jay's teaching tonight. So it should be fun. I'm hoping. And I'm glad I'm not going alone. So that's the scoop. The list goes on and on and on what they've accomplished in a very short period of time. Again, all for a very worthy cause. Our veterans and who doesn't want to support them? So, do we have any veterans with us tonight? I think we do. That's it. Hold up your hands. Yeah. I don't even know what half of these. I mean, <sighs> yeah, I'm washing brushes. But I wonder, you know, what am I using all of these brushes for? Uh, the joy. Washing brushes. I mean, I know what some of these are for, but I have to question 
you know, do I really need so many brushes? I mean, like, what am I going to use them all for? And why do they all get used to begin with? I mean, every single brush in there has, is dirty. <laughs> and I've had to clean it. Hi guys, so Jay and I decided we were gonna just stay home. Oh, the weather, you know, wasn't supposed to be that great, but here it is Saturday and um, it hasn't rained yet, but it is kind of clouded over and it's starting to get really, um, you know, probably oppressive. It's extremely hot, all of a sudden are humid. And yeah, it's like night or day, you know? We go from extreme winter to summer without a spring. But anyways, I had a question for you guys. If you got a package in the mail and it came from, say, someone you didn't recognize, would you, A, open the package, check it out, contact the sender, especially if there was no note in there, but there's a return address, contact the sender and say, hey, you know, I don't know why you sent it for me, thank you, you know, and try to get to the bottom of it. Or would you just keep it? Or would you toss it? The reason I'm asking is that I had, I had put together this, I thought, a really nice little package for a fellow YouTuber. She had long been mentioning on my videos how she'd been trying to find the Bee Venom cream that I use and just was unable to. So I had an extra, I put some in. I put some other cream in, I put a few little things in a package for her, and I asked Jay to mail it. I mailed it to the address that was on her YouTube description box, and it, of course it didn't have her full name there, so I mailed it to her YouTube name in that address. And then I started to think shortly before um, she was due to get it, because I knew it would be coming from, you know, say Jay's name, and I, th I thought maybe I'd reach out to her. So I didn't want her to think that all of a sudden she's getting some wacky mail from my husband or from a man named Jay McGillicuddy. So I reached out to her and I um, prepared her for the package and she was all excited <laughs> and it was like really fun and the package never arrived. And so we waited another few days, it never arrived. I checked my tracking number and it had been delivered and I said, hey, it had been delivered, etc. She, she looked at the tracking number and she noticed that we had somehow inadvertently put the wrong post office box, transcribed the number the wrong way or whatever. So the package was indeed delivered, but it was delivered to someone else's post office box. And because it, her full name wasn't on it, there was no way to you know, find out. It just said her YouTube name, which was not her real name. And um, so the post office put a little note in that person's post office box saying you had a package that was delivered to you erroneously and I think they probably asked them to consider bringing it back or whatever but it, so it's been like a week and they haven't done anything and it just got me thinking you know there are just so many many dishonest people out there you just it's like always an eye-opener for me because I'm thinking if that were me I'd be like I wouldn't want my post office to be wondering about my integrity or my honesty I would be bringing that right back I'd be saying geez I don't know or I would look at the person who sent it and sent them a quick note saying hey I received a package for you I don't want to mail it back the expense but at least then we would have been able to you know maybe track it but obviously they're ignoring the note that was put in their post office box and um, you know, who knows? You know, maybe they threw the creams out. I don't know. But, you know, how, how hard would it have been for them to have done the right thing, contacted their post office box, and, and then just, just clarify it and get the cream to the right person, obviously in the same town. Same town. So, yeah. So that was a bummer. So very eye-opening about dishonest people. But I guess, you know, I've had a couple of shocks lately on YouTube, and I think it was little poet Susan that said it the best she said something about it's you know she didn't care what other people did on their channels and I don't either of course it doesn't sound that way because I'm bringing it up again but she said you can you can buy subscribers you can buy views but you can't buy a real channel and that made so much sense to me so yeah you know people can cheat their way through the system but the, what do they get at the end Maybe free products, maybe endorsements, I don't know. Maybe they're smarter than the rest of us are. But I know that I'm just as happy with my real channel, as small as it is, with my real subscribers, because you're all awesome, than anything else. So, yeah, 
what an eye opener. But I'd be curious what would you do if you got a package in the mail that obviously had beauty products in it. Yeah, what would you do with it? You know, kind of really weird. So a number of you have requested or said you'd like to see out my bathroom window a little bit more, especially this time of year. So I filmed this little clip, I'm gonna insert it. This is, as you can see, in my bathroom. I'm, you know, gonna show you what it looks like out the window, down the street, straight out, and a little bit in the back. Sadly, this whole area was full of lilacs, but after the nor'easter number four that we had, the lilacs bushes have not survived. I mean, they came back, but they're just little tiny ones, and they're crunched, and they're very, very thin and sparse, as you can see from behind me. And, um, but the storms just really destroyed the lilacs. But hopefully next year or the year after, they'll be back in full force. Uh, and you know, unfortunately in our, in our area, lilac season <laughs> is really short. Look at, I mean, they're all dying already. You know, it's just really short. It goes by in like 10 minutes and boom, the season's over. But anyways, um, so next weekend we're going to have my stepson and his girlfriend Tamara visit us from Atlanta and we are we still have to have some electrical work done onto the motorhome so we have a guy coming a friend coming and he's going to increase our electric from 20 amp to 50 amp so that we can run the heater or the AC depending on how we have to look at it they're from Atlanta so you know they'll probably be cold even though I'm roasting right now so we want to be able to run the electric heater, the electric water heater, and just kind of, you know, make it a little bit more comfortable for them <clears throat> the two days they're going to be out there. And it, other than that, it's been a disjointed week for my vlogging. So I think I'm just going to end it here, my little walkabout. And um, yeah, I'm kind of sweaty and grungy and certainly not at all an attractive picture right now. So anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here, and if we end up doing a day trip or anything of that nature, I'm just going to start a new vlog with that, and maybe even get a little bit of Justin and Tamara when they come for their visit. So yeah, that's the scoop. Oh, and Canada's coming along nicely. I don't know if I mentioned that in one of my vlogs or not, but we have all our reservations. I'm so, so excited. So thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please, please subscribe. Please like the video. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it. And for everyone else that always supports my channel and watches the videos, thank you all so much. You all rock. Thank you. Have a great one. Bye-bye.